And hello everyone out there in Tamriel. This is Eric coming to you with a little ESO PSA, so you want to be a vampire. Now, we all know you can go to the Crown Store, and if you have your text chat screen up, we've all seen people offering bites for gold. Tis tis tisk. Let's not do that. Today we're going to make you a vampire for free. It just takes a little persistence and a little patience. As you can see, we're starting at the Eastern Evermore Way Shrine in Bankarai, right here next to Evermore. And what we're going to do is get on the road and start heading south. Now what we're going to do is just head around this mountain here. You know you're being the right one when you get to this tree that's in the middle of a circle road. And if you go around the tree, or right around the mountain rock feature, ta-da! Here we have it. The Bankarai Vampire Ritual Site. And that is where you start. Now all you have to do is basically come around these ritual sites, do the old down, up, down, up, or hop, hop, and somebody will give you the bite. You just need to keep your eyes over here, run in and out a bit, look around. Again, it takes a little patience and it takes a little persistence, but there will be some kindly player who will pass that infection along for free. Next, we're going to be heading to the Rift. See you there in just a moment. All right, everyone, so we've arrived at the Rift. I went to Fallowstone Hall Way Shrine, which, as you can see, is in the northeastern section of the map. And right next to Shore Stone. Point of fact, we're going to run straight through Shore Stone. So, let's hop out here, hop on a mount, and hop along. Once you hit that road, just start taking it east. And once you've exited town, you're going to stay on this road. Don't worry about following the switchback when it curves around. Just keep going straight and run yourself right into the wall. Once you've hit the wall, look to the left and ta-da! Here we have it. The vampire ritual site in the rift. Next, we're going to be heading to Reaper's March for the third Vampire Ritual Site. See you there in just a moment. Okay, everyone, so we're here in Reaper's March at the Fort Sphinx Moth Way Shrine. As you can see, we're basically in the northeastern section of Reaper's March. Ooh, look, Dolomin going off. Haha. -ha. No, not today, not today. Anyway, we're going to head west, so get out there, hit the road, and just start heading directly west. When you get to that statue, get off the road and start following the cliff line. There's going to be a few enemies around, some scorpions and whatnot, but easily enough to uh, avoid them. When you get down into the pit, you're going to see, hey, look, werewolf ritual site. But we don't want that. That's a different video. And when you get to these rocks and those cinch tigers, go around them and then hop down into the ground behind the buildings. Once you're there, keep heading west and look. Ta-da! Vampire ritual site three. 
Oh, you bastards. Okay. So. More than likely, those little skeevers will follow you, but... You shouldn't have any problem with them. Now, again, all you have to do, troll these three ritual sites. Keep your eyes peeled for any players running by. Make some motion, some commotion. Run around, do your hops. Somebody will eventually pass that along for free. Again, I would not bother paying for it. Not via the Crown Store. If there's a player that's charging a, a, a moderate amount of gold, it might be, might be easy just to pay for the convenience and quickness of it. But again, just a little patience, just a little persistence, and you can get yourself that vampirism for free. So, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Eric saying happy hunting, and ta-ta.